Hey everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Today's saint is John Joseph of the Cross, not to be confused with Saint John of the Cross, who was born about 100 years earlier. John Joseph was born in 1654. He was still just a boy when his family home on the island of Ischia was visited by two friars. Curious about how they lived, he went on with them to their convent in Naples, Santa Lucia de Monte, where his potential for a holy vocation was quickly inspired. After spending nine difficult months months being taught and tested, the young man, at just 16, took up his new name, John Joseph of the Cross. It didn't take long for John Joseph to make quite the impression on his elders and peers. He was incredibly strong-willed and readily went without many comforts. He even had tiny cabins built in the woods nearby so that he and others could spend solemn time in prayer away from the already few distractions they might encounter at the convent. With such a strong showing, he quickly found himself entrusted with more and more responsibilities. He was made a priest, allowed to hear confessions, and soon after, made novice master at the main house. In that last role especially, he proved an ideal candidate, being strict about the rules but always holding himself to an even higher standard. In time, John Joseph became known for gifts beyond his virtues as a person. He received visions, multiplied food, and even performed miracles of healing. He became so famous that when he returned to his hometown to visit his ailing mother, everyone there already treated him as a living saint. Life wasn't always sunshine and rainbows though. After suffering his own bout of serious illness and barely surviving, the Italian order of friars that he was part of the Alcantarines began falling apart at the seams. Quarrel broke out between the Spaniards and Italians, who disagreed about the operation of their order, particularly who should fill the most important roles. Even after John Joseph stepped in to address the crisis, the Spaniards cut themselves off and left John Joseph and his friars without a home for a period of time. But John Joseph remained strong, cheerful, and confident that all would turn out well. He even prophesied that he would return to Santa Lucia de Monte before he died. In 1722, the words of his prophecy were fulfilled. The two Neapolitan houses were returned to their prior ownership, and John Joseph finally had a place to call home again. After his homecoming, he received foreknowledge of his impending death, but that didn't even put a dent in his cheerful attitude, and he talked openly about it with those he knew. In 1734, at the age of 80, he died, leaving behind a tomb that soon became a go-to pilgrimage location for many many of his followers. John Joseph of the Cross was a remarkable figure in so many ways, but his greatest gift might have been his ability to smile in the face of adversity. In times when we're scared or uncertain, or we feel like we don't have anywhere to go, it can be a great comfort to know that God has a plan, and we play a part in it. May we too cheerfully bear the hardships of this life. Saint John Joseph of the Cross, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint.